Yes, yes, yes. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. That's 58,000 merits. Somehow being in with Syndron Frega out of all marches, honestly. And you can see the fight didn't last too long, right? It wasn't a crazy long fight. Two minutes in combat. But for two minutes, we nearly earned 60,000 merits. And you're probably wondering why, how, what the hell's going on, right? Because in the Call of Dragons recently, there's been a lot of, I don't know what they've done, a sneaky stealth patch, again, without telling us any of the details. But the merits have definitely been nerfed, guys. And everyone's trying to figure out the best marches to be running right now, again, to maximize on merit gain. And the one thing a lot of players have been finding out is marches like Lelia and Valen are actually doing really, really good again. And this is because they believe from the customer support service, right, giving us a little bit of info, they say merits are now earned depending on how many sev wounds you can deal in a short window, right? There will be a little decrease in percentage if you're a T5 versus a T4, but if you can deal massive, and I mean a massive amount of damage to, you know, units per turn, that's when you're going to get a good merit report. That's kind of why if you've noticed cavalry players are doing insane this season, because they are kind of the king of getting sev wounds, right? They can run in with their 200k, do some insane quick raid cycles and jump out and then do it again. If they five bomb you, you're pretty much dead on the spot and they can go to the next target. So you can see why Cavalry are doing really, really well. And stuff like Valen and Lilia are again doing really, really well. Now, when we look at other areas, you're going to get some good reports on stuff like Magrat, right? Magrat is going to give you some good reports in the game, no doubt about it. Same with the Burt Toha uh, march, right? Going to give you some good reports. And that's because of just how long and sustained that match is out there so you know if you bring out a magra you're basically gonna be out there for a long time i'm gonna be honest you're gonna be out there for a super long time and you're not gonna be dying so that's kind of why you're bringing out the magrats however you can get as you've seen 58,000 merits through syndrome and frega and the reason why i believe you're able to do that is on the same principle of lilia and all of the mages and cavalry is because Syndron is a super heavy burst hero when you think about it. The way Rapid Fire is working, you are dealing two attacks per turn. And if you are running, you know, certain pages, this is the page I was running, which gives you Mighty Slash, which is initially launching an additional attack again, once every 20 seconds, right? When you get this kind of stars aligned, especially with the rapid fire at the start of combat, and then when you get to trigger it again, you're doubling up on the attacks. That means you're doubling up on the sev wounds per turn, comparing that to someone like a Kadara Nico or the Magrat Zeda. These will give you some good trades over time, but they're not giving you some insane merit report. But Syndrome Frega will. And I think it is all because of Rapid Fire. So what I'm going to be doing in the future, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to see how good Syndrome is and see if this is the hero that's actually giving you the merit report. And it's not just Frega and Syndrome together, right? Um, to show this, what we're going to do is go into some gameplay now of when I got that 58.3k um, merits. So let's go into it. And welcome, welcome to the gameplay side. And we're going to be using Goresh, Schoolgirl, Kanara, Nico. We've got a Lilia and a Valen. And then my Syndrome Frega, right? And one thing you're going to need to know is the way I play this fight is one of the, I wouldn't say greediest ways, but it's one of the best ways I honestly feel if you're playing archers this season. It's really good to get one infantry in your build. If you can get one infantry match or two and run three archers, you're going to be able to do stuff like I'm about to do on screen. And you're probably wondering there's no way you're able to do this, but you can as a T5 player, I'm going to be honest, and I were running T4 here too. Remember that. I was running mixed T5 and T4. So when we're going into this report now, what you're going to see is the Goresh is basically the main 
target burden, right? He's going to go in onto the target and make sure they get slowed and locked down so my archers and my DPS can kill them. So we start off the fight at the very top. We're going to focus on these top guys when we're going into this fight. You can see oh, everyone dying here. And to the south, you can see now these guys are going to get trapped, right? Because this is the bridge that the troops and the reinforcements are going in. And this is where I got effort. We're going straight in. We see a cavalry. Boom. Instantly melt the cavalry. There's an atheist there. Boom. Onto the atheist. We're going to start melting him now. Boom, go straight onto the, you know, wild deer. Now going onto a healthier Lilia. And this is one thing I've always done. And you'll notice in the gameplay, if I find a healthier target, I instantly switch to them. It sounds crazy, I know. But this is how I've been noticing I'm getting better and better reports. If I can find someone I'm fighting that has high HP when I start the initial fight, I'm switching onto him, right? You can see I'm going on. See this guy, boom, instantly. Switch onto this guy. I don't care about that red bar guy anymore. We can finish him off really quickly there. But now, going on to the next one. You can see this is how I believe you should be playing your archers and infantry together. You want them both in harmony. Because the thing is with archers, guys, especially when you're doing stuff like this against mages, you are Fully taking advantage of your unit advantage system here. You have to think about it. Your own infantry, if you bring one or two marchers with your three archer legions, what's going to happen is that front line is going to hit. They're going to try and suck the damage. The mages have to deal with that. Otherwise, they're just going to take extra damage for no reason. They could get stunned. They could get taunted. They have so many issues to deal with. And if they try to target your archers, they're going to be losing the trades. Everyone knows as a mage player, if you target an archer, it does hurt. It always does hurt. And if you're hitting a Kanara on Hosk, Kanara Nico, it is gonna hit you like a trucking counter attack damage, right? So you don't want to be doing that when you're playing mage. So this, this type of scenario here is kind of showcasing the perfect conditions for archers and how you want to be playing these archers in because look at them they are terrified guys and i don't care here you can see i am so deep on my own i don't care you know i was trying to use one of my um, um artifacts there that's kind of why it zoomed in and out um, i wish if i actually just double tap the artifact you know it didn't have to zoom in it stayed on the dot mode but you can see i finally got killed and look at that, 58.4k live. And that was ridiculous, especially when I've got a 14.2k report with my archers. And again, that is going to be a triple five and um, Kanara with a, a third la last skill. But Nico's awakened. It is savage, guys. Absolute savage here. Um, obviously, sending this to the boy Guns. Shout out to Guns as well. We were having a bunch of fun here. And we was in the live stream together when this was going down. But I just wanted to kind of replay this and just leave it on screen while I give you guys, again, a little bit of a summary. So I hope you understand now where I'm coming from when it comes to reports and what you're able to deal, right? Because... You can see the game has shifted definitely to burst. Heroes that are able to do a really good single target burst or just a massive amount of AoE burst are actually getting really good reports. And players that are doing the like Lilia and Fears, they are getting some great reports, I'm not going to lie. But a Lilia Valen somehow is doing way more in the merit department. And that is just because of the way merits seem to have changed right so i hope you guys have enjoyed so far this video what i'm gonna do just to finish things off for you guys is just to go into my hero section here and just again showcase all the heroes that we're using and the talent pages so if you want to try it out yourself you can right so i was running syndron frega here syndron frega and i am running grandma's ballista on syndron and frega because the thing is we do use rapids um fire quite often and when we get that rapid fire trigger i kind of love the fact i get another 20 percent normal attack damage bonus and the fact that if anyone targets me i'm gonna get a counter attack damage bonus this also as a heads up not relevant to the match but if you do put grandma's ballista on your syndrome it's kind of perfect for kanara 
because you know your Kanara is going to get this massive counter attack damage dealt bonus and you're giving her free counter attack damage because of the Nico skill so you're getting that synergy instantly from that hero but you're getting a better single target DPS hero than Nico, right so it's kind of cool how you're able to do that but we're running Syndrome and Frega, just to just to say it one last time, right? Syndrome and Frega, five five three three. So I don't even have the best skill maxed out on her. Uh, but when we look at our talent page, this is the talent page I have been running, where we get some nice foundational skills. We go down the Precision Tree. We take Mighty Slash. I absolutely love this on um, my Syndrome now, especially with this current patch. It seems to be doing a lot more work. And then we went over to the maximum side. Got that 15%, guys. You need to. Um, please, if you're a maximum guy, get this 15% on every page. You're going to funk me later. You will funk me later. Get you in and out of situations very, very tight. Um, for the Nico and Kanara, right? I ran Kanara Primary. And the thing is, I ran Kanara Primary on purpose because I've been running this page on it, and it's not a bad page at all, but you'll notice it honestly weren't generating nowhere near as many merits as the other page. So what I'm going to try and do is test some things out. I'm going to go down this kind of route and go for the armor break through ambush and then do take autumn rain. So I, whenever I cast a rage skill, if the enemy I'm fighting has a buff, like increased HP, increased defense, increased attack, I'm actually going to remove potentially one of those buffs that could allow me to hit them even harder, which I think is going to be a very powerful thing actually in the long run. That's why I'm taking it now. I want to get ahead of the curve. So uh, once we've got all of this, I would be taking, as you can see, Shower of Blows here and finishing off with um, dealing 1% extra to magic units just to get that uh, page build done. But that is um, the build I would recommend, honestly, over the one I was running. My Lilia, I have changed builds, just to show you guys. This is my current Lilia build. I'm going down the skill tree. I'm not taking Spirit of Rage this time. I feel like I'm getting enough Rage as it is already from just kind of head held high. Um, so we're going for Boiling Blood. I've gone down the entire left side to get the crit and mitigation. And then we're taking caged animal. But the thing is, again, with this new patch, personally, I do think Thirst of Blood right now might be the go-to choice. Um, just having an extra little bit of skill damage factor added to the damage is going to actually, I think, give you more better merit reports in the long run. Uh, but then we go down to the magic tree. I really like getting 2.5%, the 50% um, speed bonus, and then flat out attack bonus over my actual skill damage. The reason why is so I can get 2% here, get another 2.5, giving me 4.5%, which is really good base attack stats, especially when I am now taking magic maelstrom, allowing me just to rip their defense off. So it gives me more consistent damage output, right? So that were the pages I were running on my DPS marches, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Remember, Syndrome and Frega, 58.3k merit report. Try it out yourselves. It might not be as successful. Maybe I'm just kind of good with Syndrome Frega and, and obviously in that um, gameplay side. If you enjoyed it, smash like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next one, stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.